Hello and Bujambo. Welcome to Wacky Learning with Jane. Today, you can probably guess where we're going. Where? Kenya. This is the Kenyan national flag. Now, today, our friends Max and Mia have sent us a letter. Now, let's read it. See what they have said to us. Here's the letter. It says, To World Explorer Kenyan Sam from Sam and Sophie from Mosbanyo, Kenya. Hello, Explorer. We can't wait to tell you about our new friend, Nuru. Who's Nuru? Let's find out. She's one of the one of Anne Charlie's research partners from years ago, and we met up with her at Watman Marine National Park and Reserve in Kenya. It's a marine park made of amazing coral reefs, which are home to over 500 species of fish. Nuru, Nuru works at the reserve and showed us some of the colorful creatures swimming through the coral. A lot of people first think of, of safari animals when they think of Kenya. Not me. Or any country in Africa, really. Lions and giraffes, elephants, they're all beautiful, she said, but they're just one part of the story. The Indian Ocean, and, and these animals are part of the story, too. What do you wish people thought of first, Sophia asked. Nuru smiled. This, she said, motioning to the three of us. <clears throat> people meeting and learning from one another. There are 300,000 300, tribes in Africa. And 42 are in here, in Kenya alone, Nuru said. Each tribe has its own language, traditions, and customs. And each tribe makes Kenya a more beautiful place. Nuru's family is part of the Messiah tribe of the Great Rift Valley. My parents moved east to the coast before I was born, but we visit our family each new year, Nuru said. She told us about the special red clothing and jewelry worn by the Messiah, Red symbolizes strength and bravery for the tribe. So, it seems in a lot of Messiah art, too. I have many photos from back at home. Sam's eyes lit up. I'd love to see some, he said, holding the camera, always looped around his neck. A photographer like me, Nuru said. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look. See you next time. Sam and Sophia. All right, looks like Sam and Sophia are from Kenya right now. They'll send us a puzzle page. Let's see. Unscramble the words. We've done that, okay. Ooh, some riddles. I'd love to have some riddles. All right, let's start with the first riddle. My giant round eyes see well in the dark. The bobub tree, the bobab tree, is my spot in the park. What am I? Hmm. What Kenyan animal can you think of that has big round eyes and calls the bubonum tree its home? Pause your videos to find out. Okay, you're back. You prob If you guessed Bush Baby, you are correct. On to the next riddle. I have my own snorkel and shower spray. If you hear my trumpet, get out of the way. Pause your videos and find this out. Okay, you're back. If you thought it's the African elephant, correct the mundo. Don't call me a deer. That's a mistake. I'm actually named for the noise I make. What is that animal? Pause your videos to find out. Okay, if you're back and you know it's a dick dick, you're correct. Four. I travel with friends across the big plain. Then all of us come back together again. What am I? Think hard on this one. Pause your videos for even longer than any of the rest. Okay, if you're back, and if you know it's the wildebeest, correct. Those were all of the riddles. Now, oh, let's see what else. Okay, the Messiah have this jewelry type that we will make at the very end of the video. Now, like I mentioned, we are not going to do this right now. It will be in another later episode. 
Next, Max and Mia send us a country coin. Ooh, here it is. A country coin. Cool. Now, let's see. Ooh, next, we're going to get our suitcase with our friends. All right, everybody. Let's see what we're going to put in our suitcase today. All right, we're going to open this up. We're going to put, all right, let's see what our sticker is today. Ooh, this Kenyan sticker. We will put this on our suitcase. Perfect. A new adjustment. Now that we've got Kenya on. Now we've officially finished our first part. Even though you didn't get to see it, it's some uh, awful. Next, we're going to see my globe. Now, where is it? Where is Kenya on the map? Hmm. Well, picture the world map. So on the map is what Maximia sent us a map in our letter. So here's the world map. And right now, we are right here in Kenya. So there's where Kenya is. Now, to finish this all up, we are going to read Mama Panya's Pancakes. Mama Panya sang as she kicked the sand with her bare feet, dozing at dozing the breakfast fire. Anika, hurry up, she called cheerfully. Today we go to the market. Surprise, I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. Adika stood in the doorway, dressed in his finest shirt and cleanest shorts. I'm ready. Now, Mama Panya had to hurry. She should have thought before that. After storing her pots and gathering her bag and slipping her feet into her sandal, Mama Panya called. I'm ready too. Adika, where are you? Here I am, Mama. I'm two steps ahead of you, he said into the bobab tree. Mama Panya's stick, walking stick, in his hand. Mama Panya better hurry up. Why, yes, you are. She accepted the stick and led them down the road. What will you get at the market, Mama? Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. Are you making pancakes today, Mama? Your smart one. I guess I can't surprise you. Yay! How many pa pancakes will you make? Mama figured two. Coins folded in the cloth, tied around her waist. A little bit and a little bit more, Mama Panya said. Rounding the corner, they saw Mies Odol sitting by the river. Have I say Zahazuba? Mama asked softly. She went and chased away the fish. Adika blurted out, We're having pancakes tonight. Please come. Adika, Mama whispered in her ear. Mies Odol said, weighing back. I'll see Anna. I'll be there. He's our oldest friend. Hurry up. We had to invite Mazi, Adika said. He's our oldest friend. Hurry up. You're a few steps behind. Mama replied. Look, Mama. It's Swati and Nimeyan, Adika's friends. Taped long weeds against the thin backs of their cattle. Moving them along. Oh, we just a few steps ahead. Wait, Adika, Mama called. Mama hadn't gone too bef far before he had returned. They'd be happy to come, Adika panted. Mama Panya frowned, thinking about the coins in her wrap. Oh, how many people will that be? Let's see, Swandi, Niminya, you, and me, Adika counted, and the Z, although that's only five. Aye, how many pancakes do you think I can make today, son? I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. You have a little bit and a little bit more. That's enough. At the market, there were many buyers and sellers trading fruits, spices, and vegetables. Adika spotted a school friend, Glamaria, at her plantation stand. 
Mama, she loves pancakes. Now, now, don't you? But before she could finish, she ran to greet his friend. Mama tried to catch up, arriving just in time to hear. You will come, won't you? Of course, Gamali replied. Mama shot a stare at Duke and quickly grabbed his hand, whisking him away. Mama, we'll be able to stretch the flower. Aye, how much do you think I could stretch flowers, son? Anika waved his hand in the air. Oh, a little bit of this and a little bit more. A little bit of that and a little bit of more. Come, Anika, keep up with me. We may just have enough for some small chili powder. Leave it to me, Mama. I'll get a good one. No, Adika, she cried out, but he ran to the Rafika's Kaya spice table. Mama got in just in time to hear Mama's baking pancakes tonight. Can you come? I'd love to, Kaya explained. She grabbed the coin from Mama's hand and replaced it with the plumpiest pepper. That's just enough. Thanks for inviting me. Mama just sighed. They headed home. How many people did we invite for pancakes tonight? Adika, skipping his two sets ahead, he saying his reply, All of our friends, Mama. Mama piled small twigs and sticks into the fire pot. Adika ran to fetch a pail of water. Mama crushed the chili pepper into a pot, while Adika added some water. She stirred all the flour, seeing that there would be none to save. Mama powered a dollop into the oiled pan in the water. Swandi and Nemanja were first to arrive, shouting, Hodi! And he called Kirapu to, to welcome them. They called two other drinking grounds, fried milk and a small hail of butter. Mama, Panya, we have extra from our cattle. Mizi Old Rural came soon after us. Old Man River has gotten us three fish today. Gamelia arrived with a bunch perched on her head. They'll go very well with the pancakes. Bibi and Vuana, Zavuana brought a package filled with some flour and handed it to Adika. Store this away from later. When Rafika and Kaya arrived. She brought handfuls of salt and canyon spots, along with a thumb piano. And the feast began. They sat under the bobab tree to eat Mama Panya's pancakes. Afterward, Kaya played the thumb piano, and Mizi sang slightly off key. Adika whispered with a gleam in his eyes and a smile on his face. I know you will make pancakes again soon, Mama. She smiled. Yes, Adika, you're one step ahead of me. The end. Now, I hope you like this lesson. Quenda, we have to Quenda. That means, and who Jumbo meant hello. And Quenda means to go. So, we have to Quenda. Bye. See you next time on... Jane, Wacky Learning with Jane, Animal Style Learning. Well, not Animal Style.